What a great time to be alive, eh? So today I really want to share with you guys how to really take advantage of this forced vacation to get started on becoming a person that you really can admire, you can be proud of and basically start this thing you have always been putting off. So by the end of this video you will have enough tools to start shaping your character in a direction that you really can admire and be proud of but also enough motivation to finally get started in this new chapter. Comment the word quarantine down in the comment section if you are in one too. Let's not feel lonely about this. Unity and support is what we need, so let's get supportive and share some positive vibes. I really believe that having humor in these situations and focusing on positivity and basically on things that you have control of instead of things you don't uh, makes so much more sense to do at times like these but also in general instead of whining about your run out of toilet paper to wipe your ass with and i really get it i am everybody's situation is different i'm gonna stay home on wheels see in the times of isolation once true self really comes up front you're facing all your flaws or your weaknesses, insecurities. And that's been my experience because I've had a lot of time to reflect on myself and my life in the last days. I must admit that in the beginning it hurt. It really hurt to face that truth that I don't feel content with myself and who I am. After that, I actually started kind of feeling a bit depressed about it. I was a bit hard on myself for not being good enough. See, in my case, it was my habits. My habits were totally off. They were really separating me from who I really wanted to be and feel good about myself. I was too good at just staying under the blanket, not waking up early. <sighs> my phone was really just absorbing my, all my time, consuming me. All my workouts, my exercising was way off. Like, I, I was just pushing it away looking in the other direction, not facing that I'm skipping day after day after day. And in the end, I wasn't even having fun doing all these bad habits. It was just the easy route. Let's face it, the only one you have control of is yourself. The outcomes you want are by the actions you take. And I wasn't taking the right actions for sure. So let's do something about that. Eh? I'm a master procrastinator. I get super distracted all the time in my life if I don't have a plan, a goal, a direction or just some deadline. I can end up doing something that would take 30 minutes and drag it up to two hours. So I needed to really track my habits visually. So I saw this method from Nathaniel Drew and decided to give it a try. I wrote down the habits I knew would benefit my life, my mental and physical health, just build a stronger character overall. I committed to never miss anything for at least two days straight. I added daily tasks I wanted to get done and I chose them by answering the question if this was the only thing I did today, would I be happy with my day? <laughs> Time to some honest talk. I haven't really been totally persistent with all the goals I set for myself. The main goal for this challenge is about reprogramming my habits slowly and slowly. So just by doing some new things that I wasn't used to is really benefiting my life extremely right now. And the most important of all is to not focus on results but more on time you spend in something that really helps getting the wheels to start turning slowly don't say that i'm gonna work out till i die but say i'm just gonna set off 20 minutes for example for in my case it was really hard starting to reading books but i know how beneficial it is for to really you know get some external knowledge to start changing my perspective on many things it's small goals that's realistic for you to start on 
and things were started moving. That's my experience till now and I'm super grateful. The book I started reading is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius and I can say it is endless slaps in the face <laughs> of your reality and your perception. So I can definitely recommend it. The character that you seem to have been born with is not necessarily who you are. Beyond the characteristics you have inherited, your parents, your friends, your peers have helped to shape your personality. And the Promethean task of the powerful is to take control of the process, to stop allowing others that ability to limit and mold them. So remake yourself into a character of power. Working on yourself like clay should be one of your greatest and most pleasurable life tasks. It makes you in essence an artist, an artist creating yourself. So the big question is, who do you want to be? I've been binge watching so many YouTube videos about how to get better. And what happened is that it's actually counterproductive when you watch too many videos and don't take action. So I really empower you to take a pen, start writing some habits that you would like to implement and just set a goal of 20 minutes, 10 minutes. Just make small, small changes in your everyday life. Take action, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next week. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>